Yankees hosting the Reds. The Reds are plus 168 on the money line. The Yankees are minus 200. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The Reds getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 120, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Yankees laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 100, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two. Neither pitcher pitched against the opposing team either last season or this season. The weather in the Bronx, when I get the game pulled up, is supposed to be 79 degrees, 7 mile an hour winds from the right to the left, and no rain. Head to head, the Yankees are 7-3. and three. The Yankees are on a three-game winning streak. The road team is on a four-game winning streak. The road team is six and four. The favorite has won the last three games they played against each other. The favorite is seven and three on the money line. The favorite winning by multiple runs, laying a run and a half is six and four. There have been three one-run games in their last ten. The over-under is five and five, and the over-under at eight and a half runs is also five and five. Now the Yank, uh, the Reds, we'll go with them first because of the road team, are three and two in Ashcraft's last five starts. The over is three and two in those starts. He's averaging four and two thirds innings pitched, six point two hits, four point two earned runs, three point four strikeouts, one point four walks, point eight home runs. He gave up two home runs in his last start. Eight, 88 pitches per game and eighteen point five pitches per inning. All of these things are things that you can bet. The Yankees are 3-2 and two in Gill's last five starts. They've lost his last two starts. The over is hitting his last two starts, and the over is 3-1-1 one, and one in his last five starts. He's averaging four and a third innings pitched, 4.4 hits, 3.2 earned runs, four strikeouts, 2.8 walks per game, 0.6 home runs. He's given up a home run in back-to-back starts, 84.4 pitches, and 21.5 pitches per inning. The last three starts that he's had, He's had a rough go of it. He's not back into the 16s and 15s like he was earlier. The Reds are 4-6 and in their last 10, 2-2 in their last 4. 15 runs, 1 run, 13 runs, 2 runs. 11 runs in a win, shut out in a loss, 9 runs in a win, and then shut out in a loss. For the Yankees, 3-7 and in their last 10. 11 runs, 21 runs, 12 runs, 9 runs. 2 runs in a loss, 16 runs in a win, 3 runs in a loss, 8 runs in a win. I think the Yankees snapped their losing streak or snap Gill's losing streak. I'm going to take the Yankees with the money line. I will take the Yankees laying the runs, and I'm going to go over seemingly when they've been winning, they've been scoring. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.